Hi, I'm Paul Yost, Chief of Research and Development at YI Technology, the developers of Prio VR. Prio VR provides full body motion sensing for gaming and virtual reality. Prio VR is an easy to wear suit featuring high accuracy sensors that provide real time tracking. Every movement you make translates one to one into the game with no cameras, no special setup, and an unlimited capture space. This means that with Prio VR, you can move any way you want with no lag and complete freedom for a natural experience. Whether you have one, two, or ten people, Prio VR lets them all easily play at the same time in the same space. Prio VR is available in three versions the Core, the Lite, and the Pro, all of which are wireless and compatible with each other. Prio VR Core is a 12 sensor suit for the gamer who wants full body tracking, including the legs. This allows kicking, lying on the ground, rolling around, walking, sidestepping, crouching, and taking cover, all while aiming and shooting. Prio VR Lite is an 8 sensor upper body only suit, perfect for sitting on the couch. You can still punch, aim, shoot, lean around corners, dodge, duck, and more. Prio VR Pro is a full 17 sensor suit for the gamer who demands the most realistic experience. The Pro suit allows pointing of feet, shrugging the shoulders, and precise hip and torso positioning. It can even be used for professional motion capture. All suits include two hand controllers with action buttons, triggers, and joysticks. The joysticks let you easily navigate through large worlds without actually walking, while the suit still gives you the freedom to step, kick, crouch, and lie down whenever you want. The trigger supports a familiar shooting experience. Prio VR, whether used with a TV or VR headset, offers unprecedented and natural control. With this new unrestricted freedom comes the ability to experience games in a whole new way. Prio VR, suit up, game on. Thanks to the VR MR headsets, we can now easily observe and hear the virtual world. But when can we interact with it more naturally? Presenting the new Dexmo, exoskeleton that captures the hand motion and lets you physically touch the virtual objects. Dexmo is light, wireless, and is equipped with cutting-edge variable force feedback and motion capture abilities. Dexmo takes immersion to the next level by simulating a real sense of touch. It physically pulls back your fingers to fit the shape of the virtual objects, and it dynamically changes the force applied to simulate their stiffness, so they can not only feel the physical presence of the object, but also tell the difference between a virtual stone and a virtual rubber duck by just squeezing them. With Dexmo, you can interact with the virtual world in the most natural way possible. Just like in the real world, you recharge your hands for the object and close your hands when you want to grasp it, then Dexmo will apply realistic force feedback to your fingertips, so you can seamlessly feel the object as if you're actually holding it in your hand. Thanks to our patented mechanics, precise motor control algorithms, and dynamic grasping handling software, all of these become possible. Head-mounted display alone is limited, because seeing is not enough. Only with proper interaction tools can practical applications for VR MR ecosystem be produced, and the potential of VR MR be fully explored. These engaging contents in the fields such as medical, education, training, and gaming will attract a wider range of consumers and can be overall beneficial to the market. We believe the next big challenge in VR MR field is interaction. And us, Dexa Robotics, is set to solve that problem.
Hi, my name is Tunja Chakmak, and I want to bring virtual reality to the next level. I've always loved playing video games and grew up with games like Quake, Doom and Duke Nukem. But just sitting in front of a keyboard and a mouse staring at a screen was not enough for me. So I began to think about a solution to walk inside of the game and started to build the first prototypes of the virtualizer in the workshop of my father. Nowadays head mounted displays like the Oculus Rift and Sony Morpheus allow you to enter virtual environments visually. But there is still the key problem of being unable to actually walk through virtual space, which the virtualizer solves. The virtualizer is an award-winning locomotion device for virtual reality that allows the user to move freely in virtual environments. It does so by combining a revolutionary low friction principle and high precision sensors with a special mechanical construction resulting in a new form of omnidirectional treadmill. For us, immersion is the most important thing in virtual reality. To reach optimal immersion, it is key to allow for a wide range of natural movements, achieve low latency and isolate the user from outside influences. The virtualizer was designed to fulfill all these requirements. You are able to perform a lot of different movements like the following. Walk, run, backwards, strafe. Crouch, jump, and even to walk in crouched positions. Moreover, we wanted to stay as user friendly as possible. And that's why the Virtualizer is a plug and play USB device. To realize such a huge enterprise, you need a competent team. The Cyberif team consists of capable enthusiasts, reaching from physicists over material scientists to computer scientists. What I find fascinating about the Virtualizer is its versatility. The Virtualizer is extremely well suited for gaming, but equally suited for professional applications. We have already worked together with real estate companies, psychologists and research departments. We made a lot of experiments to find a material that features a friction coefficient for an easy usage with socks. Using socks guarantees a whisper quiet operation and makes the device conveniently available for multiple users. The Virtualize is a well thought out solution to bring virtual reality into people's homes. This just got real. Oh, my virtual hands, my virtual hands are taking off my wrist right now. For over 20 years, I've been working to perfect motion control that let you experience virtual reality. Sixth Sense motion tracking technology is designed to precisely capture the user's every move. Now I can actually reach out into the virtual world and pick things up with my hands. Enabling both hardware and software developers to deliver the most immersive user experience ever. We started with wireless controllers. We delivered prototypes to both AAA and indie developers and they loved it. But the wireless controllers were too expensive to produce for a consumer product. So we had to move ahead with a wired solution. We licensed our motion tracking technology to Razer. And in 2011, they released the Hydra with two wired controllers. Now, after years of development, we've been able to make it affordable for everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the STEM system, a modular wireless motion tracking system that will set a new standard in 3D interface. When you're moving around in VR, you can't see anything outside of the virtual environment. So you need a wireless system so you don't get tangled up in yourself. You know, even doing this, that's something I, I really avoided doing with my regular Hydra because I don't want my base to fall. Station. Yeah, pull the base with it and be like, oh, oh no, what did I just do? The stem supports up to five individual tracking modules that can be placed directly to the user's head, hands, or legs. 
As long as there's more tracking points and you can keep expanding the level of interactivity with your body. Previously simple interactions like climbing a ladder suddenly become this really tense and visceral experience. The STEM creates new possibilities for full motion control in VR. Not just walking, which we provide with the Omni, but also hand motions and independent gun track. So we can have people gesturing around as if they're waving a sword or they're, or they're swinging a bat or a tennis racket. The new modular approach being pioneered by Sixth Sense is exactly what we have been hoping for. It's going to enable us to extend gameplay over an unlimited range of different martial arts styles. The more immersive the experience is for players, the more dimensions you have and more tools you have as a game developer. So you might have to dodge to the left, dodge to the right, you can duck down in a game. Giving yourself bodily presence really opens up in terms of gameplay and really feeling like you're there. With the STEM, we've addressed the key challenges of motion tracking. Our system tracks the exact position and orientation of each STEM at all times. It eliminates drift and has no line of sight requirements and has the lowest latency on any consumer motion tracker. It really feels 1-1, one, one, like a pure experience, just like you would have in real life. The STEM system SDK provides a robust platform for developers running on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, with full integration of our SDK to Unity, Unreal, and Source game engines. The SDK includes the Sixth Sense in Motion engine, which we've used to develop the Portal 2 Motion Pack. And of course, the STEM system will be backwards compatible with all of the great applications developed for the Razer Hydra. We are really excited about this great technology and we will make sure the Omni works well with the STEM. It's more than just a controller. It's a system that allows you to track points. Because of Sixth Sense motion tracking technology, we've been able to create completely new forms of gaming interaction and control. And that's a really rare thing to be able to say in today's gaming market. Hi, I'm Will Provencher, founder of Tactical Haptics, and I'd like to introduce a revolutionary new technology that will bring unprecedented levels of interaction and immersion to virtual reality and gaming. With the success of the Oculus Rift, we've seen the emergence of consumer VR. And with the recent Kickstarter successes of the Virtuox Omni and the STEM tracking system, you can now move naturally in VR. Despite these advances, Touch feedback in virtual reality is still limited to buzzing and vibrating, and that's where our technology comes in. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering, and I've been researching touch feedback interfaces for almost 15 years. We recently developed a way to provide force torque-like feedback in a motion controller that's significantly more engaging than rumble, but without the cost and complexity of force feedback. We call this technology reactive grip. I've been a part of Dr. Provencher's lab for the last four years, and during this time I've designed and evaluated several haptic devices. Our initial devices provided direction feedback to a user's fingertip, and have since evolved, making more realistic and complex experiences possible. Through device exploration and listening to our users, we recognized our technology's ability to create richer and more immersive game experiences. I remember experiencing the rumble of GoldenEye on the N64 over 15 years ago, and I see that same surprised reaction of people using the reactive grip. Through the reactive grip, I felt the weight of a shield, the kick of a gun, and something as subtle as a fish biting on the line. And I can't wait to see where the community takes us next. Our technology conveys motion and force information by moving sliding contactor bars that are built into the grip. By moving these bars, the reactive grip can give the sense of an object's weight or of an impact. By moving these bars in opposition, it creates the feeling that the handle is wrenching or twisting in the player's grasp. This lets the player feel a bending fishing pole, the suspension of a vehicle, the stretching of a slingshot, or a medieval flail. We call it reactive grip because we track a player's hand motions and then react to those motions, providing the feedback that they would expect if they were holding a real gun, sword, or a fishing pole. Our controller will primarily use the stem tracker from Sixth Sense, but if you have a preferred tracker like the Razer Hydra, we'll make it easy to clip on. We designed the stem system for innovative developers like Tactical Haptics that are trying to push gaming interaction to the next level. I used the Reactive Grip prototype with our motion tech, and I was amazed how it provides real, tangible physics to virtual objects.